Good morning, world. Sit down, dog. Every time I get gassed up like that, he always tries to come and jump on me. Well, he's going to get his toy now. But good morning, world. Good morning, NKM family and supporters. Uh, today we're going to do like a small vloggy type thing whilst I stay at home and crack on with bits in my own little personal sanctuary room. Uh, we've got some big updates with everything that's happened with the rescue and sanctuary. I've kind of stepped away from it. I've been doing it for so many years now. Um, trying to focus on my studies and myself and we've got the wonderful NKM team of trustees and volunteers that are dealing with everything, dealing with your inquiries, dealing with rehomes, adoptions, any concerns and like I said any inquiries the team's dealing with it so if you message the page now I will still see your messages but you most likely won't be getting a reply from me I'm afraid. Uh, it's not for Forever, it's just for the foreseeable future. What are you eating, dog? Mm, he was licking an old biscuit packet, apparently, from last night. But yeah, so today we're going to do a little vlog style video and we're going to get get you all updated and caught up with everything that's been happening. Alright, so the first thing today is we are going to uh, check this ceramic in Holly, our Sunglow Boas enclosure. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's reading the right heat, which obviously isn't good. So we're just going to check that now and see if it's working. This is the ceramic in question. You can see I've been fiddling with wires yesterday. I'm just going to check. It's definitely not producing any heat. So here's all the wires I pulled out from it for yesterday. And this is the heat bulb here. So I'm just going to change the fuse and see what happens. Okay guys, I think we're going to need a whole new heating unit. I've changed the fuse and just as I plugged it in, there was quite a big explosion, a bit of a flash. Um, I've, I've opened the, the enclosure door to let a bit of smoke out. And yeah, so I think we're going to need a whole new ceramic holder, which is brilliant because I haven't got any. So guys, this is how the room currently stands. bit of mess here and there but that's what today's about just waxing off the last few jobs tidying things up Zazu has made an almighty mess with his millet last night and what ouch the one night I um ran out of newspaper too which is brilliant and what I hit my hit my heel on now is my new ladders it's like a vintage wooden ladders which I shall show you very cool, loving life. Gets me up and down to the um, turtles up the top. So that is the room tidied. We've run the hoover around. Well, I say tidied. We moved things around the room to make it look tidier so we could hoover. And now everything needs to go and be put in its place. So let's get cracking with that. So for everyone who's intently watching the page as this new content comes out, um, I've just finished filming the video on my rack that stores all my stuff uh, and we're just going to get our on, we've got lights to finish wiring in and you see we've got wires hanging down over here we've got um, <sighs> these tubs to organise so we're going to get cracking back on filming with the vlog so this is the progress we've made so far well, god awful reflection. I'll stand back. That's the view from as you walk in. Now, at first, 
We have Tika's tank, well Tika and Rogan's tank should I say. This is also where our community fish do. Underneath we've got the bug rack which I'm sorting out today. Another bug tub, our filters. Then we've got the six foot rack. This is for um, Azalea, the red giggy, there she is. Up top and this side, I'm going to take this out. We've got Prin's tank. She's one of my little geckos. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, we've got the girls' tank where Mojo and Kimber live. Mm -hmm. And down the bottom, in his lordship's castle, is our old boy Zeus, 14 year old beardy. Next to the six foots, we've got Amy. Our female panther chameleon. There she is. Amy's coming up on three years old. <whistles> then as you stand at Amy next to her, you've got the back of the rack. The turtle tubs that I'm sorting out. Some more digital thermostats to go up. <whistles> um, let me get it to focus. You've got Watson up the top there with the plants in front of him and Aquarius's tub is just in front and we've got the pumps that are running that pretty foolproof with our Aquarius everyone that's been following the page for long enough knows that he destroys every filter that he's ever had now this EFX this actually oh my focus is off it's actually started leaking the other day but it's not leaked since, so we're leaving it in here. That guy there, he leaked last night, so he's outside. Let's see if I'm going to show you Watson. So, Watson. And at the moment, this tank, oh, stressing me out a little bit. So the water level, as you can see, it's dropped from there down to here. And on this side, although it's not risen much, it's just soaked its way all the way through the soil. There's our Branston. Cute little tomato frog. So yeah, we're going to redo his tank. And it's going to be split in half this time. And the acrylic's going to come up about this height. So there'll only be like this much head height really. But it'll allow us to have a deeper substrate and a deeper water section which would be real nice for him and for the fish and then okay we'll go down we've got rocky again since yesterday water's filthy she literally just takes all this she takes all this soil takes it straight in the water i did that water about 7 p.m last night and then down here this is Cinder's tank, my little borsk. Got his UVB bulb resting in there. I just put it in there about five minutes ago, so I remind myself to put it in. Then we move across. This is the Ali Snapper's set up. And you can see he's there. Old Maximus. It's hard to see with the glare from the light. And he is there. And up here, we have Myrtle. Now her pump is the one that started leaking last night, so she's got no filter on her currently. Oh, he got it! He got it! He got it! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt that. Right, so now I've played with the dog. We'll go over here. This is Rory's tank. Oh, the reflection's awful. This is Rory's tank, little alley snapper. See his tail sticking out there. Or oh, he's digging himself in there. See all the baby fish. Ooh, ooh. That one says hook. Lots of little baby fish in this one. And we move over and we've got Nobby. 
our little deformed common snappers tank. Got his pumps running. There's no fish in this one. This is in here. See his shells all bent up. That's typical for a, of a pellet diet. No EVB really. Doesn't tend to make that shape. This is diet. Now my iPhone died, so you've missed a small chunk of the day, but um, about to have lunch myself, and I've been up to this in the meantime. Tub of soil that came out of Zeus's tank before, so we're just um, yeah scooping it back in. Really, this takes it takes time because it's as you'll see. Well, you might not be able to see on the camera. It's very very dusty substrate. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. We're going to spread it out. Put the Iggy's old stuff back in, Leo's stuff back in. So, we've got some of the soil in. Some of the soil, we'll give them a banana leaf. We've got some of these guys' soil in over here. Now we just need to get some in with the Bosk. A little bit in with Rocky. And that'll be it, I think. The bow isn't doing all right. I've got a pool in each of their tanks. Actually, they both pulled last night, so we're going to pull that out. I've got old Freddy sniffing about. You never know, he might have dropped something. So, he's up in his cage chilling. This is one day's mess, people. This is one day's poop. One day's poop. Because I've run out of newspaper. One day's poop. That's like 12 pools, maybe even more. Ridiculous as you eh? Now not that you can really see this that it's on at all, but trust me you can because it's glowing there. That's my new UV steriliser, running it upside down. Um it's just the way that works most or best for me. Uh, but it's working really well, just keeping the tank water nice and clear. No algae on the glass anymore. Doing its job. As I say here. Now we've just been letting Azalea settle in here. Azalea because Iggy Azalea obviously. Uh, just been letting her settle in. Settle down. Get a feeding routine going. So in this tub here. You have to excuse me. I haven't cleaned any of my tubs this week. But in this tub here we have Georgina. Now Georgina when she came to us, she had actually she actually had you can see here on the end of her tail, she actually had a sore and we got it fully healed. <coughs> she had one on the bo <coughs> my gosh. As you can see, working with snapping turtles is never fun. Because what we don't want to do, and like you see on many videos, is let her snap. Because if she snaps and hits the plastic, she could break the plastic or she could break her beak. <coughs> so what we're gonna do is we're going to try and move her away there we go, move her away, obviously it's hard with one hand and I'm looking down the phone screen we can see here now if I can get it to focus, there you go this saw, she's got an end of her tail now it was fully healed but she's brushed herself up against something and it's it opened up the other week you can see there on her foot still and yeah, so they opened up Again the other week, just been treating them again. So we're going to get her under the dry dock, which means taking the lid off. And get the camera back to focus. We put the metal grate on. And we drag her over to someone who's got a heat bulb that we can borrow, preferably Watson, because. His is a mercury vapor bulb that's easy to access, right there. So we just place it on one side of the tub and we need to get sorry, I've been a bit slow. So you place it on one side of the tub, just pull the tub out a little bit, place it over here, and you can see the hot spot there. We've got all this room to. Um, 
be able to get away from the heat but what we are going to do is just grab the end of our digital thermometer dangle it down in here away from my face just so we can monitor the temperature of the cold side to make sure she doesn't overheat next up I've got a few bits in the bathroom that I need to go and clean some water bowls and just gonna have a look shall we so yeah, this is my little pile of stuff that needs cleaning today. We've got the tub that was in the Iggy's tank. All these are like food bowls for the iguana, Rocky, the painted wood turtle. This is um, my first lizards, my first lizard ever. This is her water bowl. This we're talking like 14, 13 years ago now. We've got two. Uh, trays from my bug rack to clean and yeah we'll pop back once I've done that so we've got these turtles temporarily set up in there with some little bits of water um, Georgina is basking I once just had some fish you can see oh Maximus no, just... there we go so Maximus eating all of his. Nice film on the water. And being modelled by our Freddy. Come away. You can see we're doing a water change on Watson. Getting him all drained out. A little trick I'll show you with Aquarius is uh, we actually hook the hose pipe up to his external mm -hmm. filter and his external just pumps all his water out for us which also frees up the other mm -hmm. uh, siphon so we've got both tanks draining at the same time Aquarius is nearly empty I've got Watson filling up Myrtle's emptying Let's see what we can see yep she's nearly done Put a little bit more water in there. And then it's just these guys up here which drain pretty easily. And fill everyone back up. And <coughs> empty this em at least snapper too. So up in this tub is actually the oh, Florida common snapper. So you got him draining out. We've got our Watson filling up. That's how cool I thought I'd show you. Oh. Excuse me. How rude. <laughs> what I was going to say, before we were rudely interrupted, is look how many baby guppies we've got in this tank. This is the um, Florida Common Tank. Look how many babies we've got. That's like two or three um, clutches of babies. Wow, look at them all. That's crazy, guys. That's probably the same amount of guppies that we bought originally. Just in babies, in this one tank. And they're in every tank. Right, so this is nearly done now. I think it's only fair that I put in the... Uh, that I put in the... Uh, the goods and the bads. So I actually, I actually overfilled Watson. You can see by a few inches there. So I decided to use his uh, output as the drain to drain from his to Aquarius's tank. But I had to suck on the end of this, and it has gone absolutely everywhere. So yeah. I swallowed loads of it, well, it ended up in my gob, that's for sure. So that's fun. Just as I finish wiping my face, I'm having some orange juice, wash that down. You can hear this noise. That's the noise of Sherlock's pump. So we're going to unplug that. Oh. So we're going to unplug that and 
check on how the water's doing. It's almost done. And this is the last tank that we... Oh, I might go and take a tank, I'm not sure. It's running pretty well at the minute. As with most snappers, how seriously the Florida snapper has started climbing the edges of his tank. And you see Sherlock there. He's going to be starting crawling around soon. But yeah, looking forward to getting my new mesh. Because at the moment we've just got all these ghetto... Um, but uh, well, they're actually greenhouse shelves, for those that know and those that don't know. Um, I'm a plant science student, so we've always got greenhouse, greenhouses and greenhouse panels, all sorts of places. This is the filter that it's eventually going to be run on, which is the overhead filter. So the water will come up here, run through the sponges, then run through the media, and then back down the other side. At the moment, it's just got two, an internal, and another pump that's pushing... The water over the ceramic media just keeping that topped up with the beneficial bacteria and then we've got the serious there uh, and then the fish getting filled up with fresh water i'm gonna get some tap uh, dechlorinator in there eagle-eyed among you will realize that i've still not put all this soil in places yet we've got things going everywhere i know it looks like the lights are flickering to you but they're not flickering to me um, both of these tubs up here fill up. Let me take you up. We're gonna have a look. Both up and running now. No lights on either of them, but they've both had a um, big bag of media chucked in. Just until we get their uh, externals set up. Just got to finish filling Aquarius in a minute. Watson's pumps back up and running. So yeah, it's going to clear up all that scum on top of the water. Myrtle's all nice and full up. we just got to get her pump set back up. And again, <clears throat> we're draining this Ali Snapper's tank by using the pressure from the filter. And it's working really well. I'm going to give Rocky a fish. So the time now is 4.20, 4.20 blaze it, you know that one. Um, we're going to get some food in with everyone I think. I'm not going to film it because I need to charge my phone again. And we're still draining the Ali Snapper. We're still filling up Tika. Um, Nobby's swimming up over here. That's like he's not been fed four big fish today. It was really gross, but he loved it. See Georgina there, basking. No, I'm not quite sure what's happened. We've got some kind of titanic situation going on here with the Tika's basking dock. Quite unsure what's happened. But maybe it's just as the water level dropped. And we filled the tank up, it's got caught. I'm going to have to get the ladders and fetch him out. So as we fill the alley snap back up, see when he didn't actually eat his lunch earlier, which is a bit of a pain, but we fish them out now. We have two troublemakers, Tika on the left, Rogan on the right. Now we like our curry in this house. Right, let little update on the progress for you. Tika's been what changed. Sherlock's been water changed, Sirius has been water changed, Watson's been water changed, Aquarius has been water changed, even though we overdid um, Watson. Myrtle up the top there got water changed, Maximus down the bottom here got water changed, Rory and Nobby got water changed. We've topped up the Boa's waters, only a little bit because uh, every snake here mm. is being treated for mites in a minute. Just topped Rocky's water up. So I've been gone again for a long while. We have since wired in some digital mm -hmm. thermostats. Just got these little basic hooks holding them up at the minute uh, before we get the 
opposite end of the Velcro strip so they can be stuck up. And they will look like that. Got two to go here. Another one down the bottom. We have um, carrying on cleaning everyone's glass. You see here, I've left Bo's door open. I've just been cleaning Bo's glass. Bo is our 11 foot red tail boa. Ended up pinning up the uh, Beware the Chameleon sign. We actually have Beware of the Leopard Gecko, which actually belongs with Calypso. And we have a Beware of the Bearded Dragon. I have started to organise the bug rack again. Holly's been out basking. Um, not sure what else there is to say, but we just got lots of odds and ends to tidy up. Um, everyone's been water changed, absolutely everyone. Everyone's had their glass cleaned inside out. I'm going to lift up all of everyone's metal tomorrow and give everyone's tubs a scrub. I've got my algae scraper ready, extendable. Um, the dog's had his dinner. I only had bread for lunch today. I had two bits of toast and I ate one of them. Sorry to waste food in isolation, but that's how things are. I'm watching the sunset as we speak. Um, there's probably going to be a few more bits that I'll get done later on, but Katie's been at work all day today. So I've been trying to graft and get things done and organised and sorted. And tonight once she's home, we're going to chill out, we'll get some animals out, I'm going to work with a bosk, I'm going to work on making friends with our Zazu. Who's here? He's doing really well. Excuse me. Right guys, so I think I'm probably going to leave this video here. You might get a few clips of um, us playing with some animals later. But as far as everything goes... Amy's all sorted, got Leo's in there, we've just got to sort these wires out and hang their UVB straight, got to sort this wire out because that's ugly, um, Iggy is in there somewhere bless her, my oh, boy Zeus, I did finish putting all of his substrate in as you can see, he's got loads of it now, comes right up to the plinth, the rack video, if you had seen that on the page, you would have had a full rundown of everything we have on the rack and all of the products we use. Um, the only thing I did miss was my first aid kit, but we could do that in a separate video. As you can see, Rocky's water got changed, um, some bit, bit of added soil in with the bosk, but we have not fitted the UVB in yet, that is here. We have Crunch, basking under the MVB. Getting all nice and dry, bless him. We've cleaned the boa's glass, which I hope you can see. All these down here. We've got um, the lights to fit in her tank and the ceramic because it, that blew this morning if you were watching. Um, Sazu is out and about. Got to finish all these fake plants, but all of this glass has been cleaned. Everyone's had water changes. Got Maximus, the alley snapper, down here somewhere. See him over there. And we've got Myrtle right there. Uh, here's Rocky sleeping. And then we've got Watson, who's over there. Look. Having a waterfall on him and our Aquarius. I want to go around these tubs and give them all the clean. Aquarius is one actually. <laughs> Tom.
in the comments below and I'll know that you made it this far and you can be one of the select few that do and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to our YouTube don't forget we've got Instagram uh, which is just NKM Exotic Sanctuary and yeah we'll see you guys soon